What's up guys? This is the Broverman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as Great Britain. So to pick up where we left off, we have an opportunity to intercept two Moogle stacks on their way to Minsk and I think it would be silly to not take them up on it. So it's going to be a bit different because we don't have howitzers and they have a crap load of them. And there's a chance we might have to end up um, sallying out to sucker in a lot of their cavalry to do some fighting. But I think we are more than up to the task. We're probably going to end up uh, making our own breach, I think. Let's find out. Let's defend against these two Ottoman stacks, because then this will be quite a useful opportunity to really quite significantly damage the uh, the fighting forces of the Ottoman Empire in the east. And as we all know, that is where the bulk of their strength lies, so it would be useful to uh, take advantage of such a move by the AI and have them badly damage our uh, their armies against our against our walls. And we also have a another army coming in for reinforcement duties, should that be needed. Okay, we're not going to get any defensive tools. So because the enemy have howitzers, we're going to want to put our cheap infantry up front, or our, our le uh, less experienced infantry up front, because they will be the ones that start to take the quick lime fire because sure as sure as you can imagine they are going to start throwing quick lime at us so let's defend a good number of the walls we've got our cavalry although I have diced with keeping cavalry outside because it gives them their cavalry something else to try and do but it comes down to how many units of Infantry do I have spare? So let's pick two. Can keep my cavalry out as kind of bait. So how, what does that leave us with? Highlanders, Grenadiers. Okay, so a reasonable amount of troops. So let's take our guns and let's probably put a breach here. So we've got Grenadiers, two units of line, and a Highlander Warband unit who will sit behind the the guns. So Grenadiers, oh, I usually end up doing things like put Grenadiers in here, two units of infantry like so. Or do you put Grenadiers in the command HQ? I don't know. I think that's everyone except my three units of cavalry outside. So the artillery attack ground towards the base of the, the wall. You can see they do have a lot of artillery. I'm getting some sound problems, but they've got how many units of howitzer is that? One organ gun, howitzer, 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 howitzer. And obviously we have no howitzers of our own to defeat them. You can see we've already lost about 40 odd infantrymen to that howitzer fire. You guys fire it well off. Because otherwise I'm going to hear your silly little drums for way too long. So that wall damage down to 49%. So this unit deploy them like so. So that well the idea is that you can't move them away completely, because always their artillery will focus on another section. There we go. So a way in has been formulated. Quick climb is coming in. So now we need to blast this area with canister shot. A little bit surprised their infantry doesn't, their cavalry doesn't fancy pushing. That unit's ripe to get hit by quickline, but I kind of need to keep them at it. But let's speed up time, because their artillery is just still lobbing shots off quite happily. It would appear they aren't actually going to. They're not going to charge the breach en masse, which is quite nice. I'm going to have a little drink mix. Got a little head rush. A head rush from something. I don't know what. But the units, as they try and push around the flanks, will get chewed up. 
by our musketry. I do have to wonder if it's the... Okay, so now they're aiming at this section of the wall. So let's put this weak unit in the armoury. Whoa, okay, now they're aiming at... Let's spread our line out, because it looks like they're either aiming at those units, or they are... They're the result of delicious misses. Either way, that's not good for us. So who have they got back here? Daily Horseman, General's Bodyguard, General's Bodyguard. So they are right in the, you know, raiding territory. Maybe if we lose, if we beat these units back, I could push some of my cavalry around to the right flank. There's pikemen to keep an eye out for. That's a lot of British troops lost there for not very much gain. We're doing a lot of kills here. Okay, so where's that, did that shell come in? Hmm. Oh, just a second everyone, I think I might just check my temperatures a minute, because I might be, maybe I'm getting a bit hot, just a minute. And I'm back, so... Oh, not sure what's wrong there. So I think this, these guys got hit by a quick climb unit. Quick climb plus various other good old artillery shots coming in. To be honest, this unit could probably stand to just retreat. And start to bring in some of the units that will be opened. God, that unit got... It's been quick climbed to buggery. They can get out of here. To be honest, I think the name of the game is to take this unit off here as well. Just abandon the front wall because it feels like we're likely not going to get the... We're likely not going to get the type of support we would want. So let's take our regiment of horse out on one of the flanks. Let's take this regiment of horse. Uh, to, to be honest, I might cluster them all together. They're going to push out and they're going to silence those guns. They do have a unit of pikemen here, so we're going to have to be a bit micro heavy. does feel like it does feel like we're going to end up in a position where we have oh garrison's going to be quite weak but yeah let's get our cavalry out on the flank these guys are going to retreat and potentially act as decoys The infantry is seemingly aware of what's going on. Be very well if you guys aren't going to retreat in order. Then this unit, this weak unit, can take position in Command HQ to act as a bit of a decoy. Cavalry on the move. Too late, me old muckers. If you're looking to try and stop my cavalry from getting up to no good. Ah, okay, so the Bashi Bazook have taken advantage of my... My wanting to retreat my infantry out. Yeah, see, there we go. Now they've actually shut. You hit the general's bodyguard. You hit the unit of howitzers. You hit an organ gun. So we have to attack these chaps because they are okay let's get them get you guys back out of that formation there fortunately their pikemen seem to be on a bit of a holiday focus are ah, the guns so i'm only deploying one one of the units died immediately on on the charge. So we've got cavalry units, they're going to go in there and clear them out. Two general units have been, two generals have been killed. You're after an organ gun, you're after a mortar crew, that, this mortar crew. Go after that mortar crew. The pikemen don't seem to know how to respond. 
And then go after the next mortar crew. You guys go after that mortar crew. You chaps have done a ter ter terrific job there. Okay, so there's the the enemy horde coming in. So this is where we have to rely on our massed gunnery. The unit that's inside the house has retreated, understandably. Get this cavalry back here rapidly, because they could do really do with charging into the rear of this rather enormous blob of men. Okay, we're going to have to charge forward. Hit the Semini. You men aren't charging the Feline because they still count as being inside. You men blast the Muslim. You men have been hit by the cavalry. You men have been hit by the pikemen, I should say. Throw the Highlanders in. Gunners cease fire. Because the unit of Janissary Musketeers. Yeah, there we go. So at least the units that are charging against the... Units that are charging into the buildings, they're successfully... Um, absorbing our decoys. You men charge the Janissaries. You guys are charging Semini in the rear. The Pikemen are still after these guys. This cavalry unit successfully decoyed some Muslim and a bunch of cavalry. Try to get them to hit the General's bodyguard. You men charge the Janissary Musketeers. So do you. You Grenadiers cease fire and come out and play. Cavalry's reloading. Uh, the artillery's reloading. To be honest, I do wonder if the cavalry, if the artillery is really worth the the implication. If we might just stick with massed gunnery, not ma not the implication. That's the wrong phrase. But am I am I better off just relying on volleys and infantry to throw back the enemy attacks? push a unit further down the wall because they can fire into the breaches the same as you guys can now take position here lots of these units now retreating down the walls that's okay fire will on fire will on again this cavalry unit will likely suffer but they can pour fire into the semini fairly safely Let's just try and pull our cavalry out of this little mess. The semi will likely break in due course. So what I was hoping for with these chaps is that they would more effectively mount the inner fire step. Regiment of Horse. Looks like they're getting mobbed, so let's just try to get them out. Because it looks like they do have a. I wonder what this smoke is from back here. Who are the Delhi Horsemen shooting at? Get the cavalry out of here. Well, it seems to have stabilised things somewhat to just have my um, cavalry run away. They're being chased by Semini, Bashi, Bazoo, Bashi, Baz Bashi Bazooks. That unit of Semini have returned. So let's keep the cavalry running. Because they really do hate them. Oh, the general's bodyguard got here. Oh, this infantry, just run them in. Countercharge the General's Bodyguard, because now they are available. They're available and isolated, although my... Yeah, my Dragoons decided to go a bit funky. 
with the charge. So they're now going to charge into the General's bodyguard. So hopefully that's another commander we can rid the world of. They're all finishing their retreat. Again, I'm, I'm f absolutely fine with them retreating like that. So here comes another General's bodyguard charging in. But apart from that, I might speed time up again a little bit, just because uh, apart from this cavalry combat out here, that might potentially result in the death of two Generals, but will likely more than likely result in the deaths of my guys. Oh yeah, so Muslim unit has been retreated. To be honest, you guys just duck and cover. Just get out of there now. So who's going to try next? It's another unit of Semini. who are, do not like the new arrangement. <laughs> Although they are falling back, still okay. So this unit that won't fire at will correctly, it's the darndest thing. Usually, usually they seem to sort it out when they've got something to shoot at. Hello, what are these Azars doing charging up here? That's not going to help them out. Yeah, there they go. Okay, so these units of line infantry might actually be used to try and push some of the enemy away from outside the fort. Rather than directly running it in, like this unit did, it might be better off we might be better served from having a component outside. So it's a unit of Hader Irregulars, which do look pretty good. But they're about to get some withering volley fire. Come on, you guys need to reload. Come on, a few more volleys. Well, they're gone. Semini are gone. So I'm tempted to run these guys outside the wall to challenge the Semini in combat, but also to join up with these two units out on the flank, because there's a Delhi Horseman unit sat hiding in these trees. But it could be quite worthwhile having a force outside the walls to push the enemy away. So this might galvanise, well it has galvanised there. Delhi Horseman into action. Right when our other infantry are arriving on the scene. You guys, if you take position here, now the gunners are gone. Now the enemy gunners are gone. Yeah, they're all broken. So they can all engage the Delhi Horsemen. General's bodyguards coming around here and, a, and a, another Delhi Horseman unit's coming around here. If you guys can man the cannons, that would be exceptionally useful. And you've all scooted along a bit. So who's this? Delhi Horsemen and Semini are on their way in. See, now they've got someone to shoot at, they work. You're still upset. The guns are going to start firing. Yep. Yes, we'll lose a handful of men, but it's a handful of men best served in causing the Ottoman forces to be significantly damaged. And granted, these are reinforcement, reinforcement units. So it is our 
reinforcements that are getting into trouble, as well as these guys getting stuck on the wall, on the gates there. So our clansmen are going to hold that gate. There's always a possibility that means our infantry units are a bit screwed, because it means they'll never actually figure it out. Although it looks like they are slowly figuring out that they have to move. So many have been pushed back there. I do wonder how many more men they have. So if I speed up time... Oh, they are working it out. You guys should get shot by this regiment of line infantry. Oh, and that, that deadly horseman got hit by it as well. So form square. They are trying to scale the walls, it looks like they are. The howitzers are too far away to fire quick climb, which is lovely. Deadly horsemen are going down. They've been broken. Who's that? General's bodyguard. Hopefully you'll go the same way as a few of the other cavalry units on this side, although it does seem to be a pretty bugged battle, really, this one. You men form square, because the general's bodyguard's coming in. And you as well. You guys can pivot. So the Muslim have been pushed back. It looks like the enemy are kind of just hung, just bun, uh, just home, hanging out in a group. You men, so you can form square, but cease fire. Because you don't want too many units firing into their own sections. Let's bring this general's bodyguard out here. The general that came in to support. Form square again, because the general managed to break it. You guys may as well actually get one volley off, because you're all ready. Although they haven't fired. Let's advance these men up. The Semini over here is still trying to advance up the wall, but it looks like they're going to be thrown back. It does kind of look like the enemy don't really want to attack us. So I'm going to charge my general's bodyguard in here with a full awareness that he may just turn around and run away, depending on what unit comes in after this guy routes. Nope. Oh, he does like the gunner. So you men all form square because Delhi horsemen are on their way. You guys fire well off. You men take out that howitzer unit. This is going to be part of the battle. It's just drawing in their cavalry. Oh, go on then. You guys can fire at will. It's not usually the best idea. Because the end result will be... Well, that inevitably they'll be friendly fire. But then again, that's never really bothered me before. Horsemen, more general's bodyguard. Yeah, they're swarming in. Not bad for light cavalry. So here comes more reinforcements coming in. Yeah, hopefully the general's bodyguard charges in. To be honest, it's not surprising that this is where they are electing to go, because this is actual. These are actual um, units that they are capable of doing damage to, for once. So let's create a bit of a killing zone trap. The idea being that these guys form up, form line around the corner. So these men have to get shot at from this unit and this unit to get into range. Although you guys are a bit bugged from a fire at will perspective. Come on. Hmm. 
mean, it does look like the enemy doesn't really want to... So sometimes it's... With fire at will, it's more about having targets to shoot at. But fundamentally, I don't think they are actually going to, uh, to charge, or at least not in the way that we want them to. They're going to sit outside and just skirmish us, seemingly. They don't actually want to come inside. Although they are messing, so I wonder if they will... Well, eventually they've got to become brave enough, surely. Some of them are, seemingly. So you need a weak, weak unit of Janissaries coming in. I mean, you guys would be great to shoot the General's bodyguard right now, but you're not playing ball. Building lost. And that's generally what happens when you don't hold buildings, isn't it? You men charge down the gatehouse towards the Bashi Bazooks. No regiments of line. No, come this way. Oh, look at this. So because they're coming up from two directions, I have to manually send a unit to run onto the wall. And then one unit to run there. Lest they get in from everywhere. But these units now are under withering fire from our troops inside the fort. Although, if, if they get ready soon, get a volley off, men, please. No. Ooh, ooh. Nope. Ah. What's the Bashi Bazooks done for? If you men would fire at will properly, you would actually do some good. Rather than just standing there looking like lemons on the wall. Even fight the Bashi Bazooks, we re secure the gatehouse. Deli Horseman, Deli Horseman, Deli Horseman. You guys run up. Take that position. Here, there's another gun team. Two gun teams. Although. Hmm. form square and if those guys form actually man the wall in the way they should they could actually do a lot of good but it would appear they are electing not to do that you men get out of square and counter charge the janissaries let's get this line infantry unit to surround the janissaries and destroy them let's bring this regiment a foot off the line off of the wall Whoa, that's a unit of unit of Muslim. They're not the strongest units in the world, but don't want to push on them with nothing. So who's this coming around? Another unit of Delhi horsemen. More units, more fire by rank, more morale effect. I think that's the the order of the day here. So unfortunately, well, I don't have to run you away. I can just run you around the Muslim. And that unit of Muslim, I don't have to kill the guns. I just have to scare them away so that they decide not to stick around. Although that unit of horsemen there runs counter to lots of those stated objectives. You men also open up on the Delhi Horsemen. Yeah, that gun's killing us out there. I 
Oh, because units on the wall don't behave intelligently. Because you get units like this that are they're too busy wanting to fire by rank into this unit of Bashi Bazook that are running away rather than manning their actual position on the fire step here. So these units could well be done for, but nevertheless, we shall continue to hold. To be honest, I might just run my clansmen out. Because those Muslim are not going to be around for that long. They will likely be routed and we can re-secure the... Oh, you guys are actually going to... You guys aren't. Because you guys could be great at trying to kill these pikemen. But then again, then they're going to kind of screw it all up a bit. Run our grenadiers up to re-secure the point not using my grenadiers as effectively as I could be, but I'm not entirely bothered about that. Hey, there we go. Now they've mounted their position on the wall like they should. So who is back here now? Israeli, Muslim, Muslim. Very well. My general's bodyguard can get over here and knock out these guns. Granted they're doing nothing, but they can still be frustrating while they do it, especially as both their remaining cavalry units are uh, fleeing over to that direction where my reinforcements are coming in from. It's the same unit of Janissary Musketeers is attacking up two sets of ropes, and that's Potentially good, potentially bad for them. Let's try to bring a reinforcing unit around the walls. Go get those guns, General's Bodyguard. They will likely not take it for too long. I mean, I know they're Janissaries, but they're still losing men considerably faster than they would like. We've still got a bunch of units back there that are still just trying to peck at us to do damage. Okay, I'm going to speed up time because right now it's all down to my general's bodyguard trying to snipe their artillery. Nope, don't get distracted. I don't mind losing my generals. Do not mind losing my generals one bit. Just enough to make them abandon their guns. And that will be good enough for me. Just like that. Then just keep running. Just keep running, I said. Come on. Fundamentally, nothing's actually going on back at the the fort. Oh, he died. Fine. Kill the Delhi horsemen. Or try to. Yeah, they're still trying to scale the wall. So you can see how drawn out sieges can be when you don't have howitzers. Because <laughs> units like this that will do nothing but just fire at you, or pikemen that will do nothing but just sit there, you can't actually wipe out the way that you could. Unit of guns over there. Send my clansmen to deal with. Yeah, don't mind my general routing, because right now this is just a bit a bit of a snooze fest, really. At least with my general routing, I might get some Good cavalry. Hello. You just mob the Muslim. These units that are in here aren't doing any good. One of them's actually stuck. Mob the Muslim. Get 
you men could similarly be doing something useful and firing down into this unit of Israeli, but instead you'd rather stand there like a pudding. And all these units mob that unit of Muslim because they are needed to fire. So those men have run out of ammo. So mass charge the Muslim with those units. But yeah, like, these guys should. It's frustrating when they don't. Who are you guys shooting at? Pikemen have been routed, which is nice. So let's anticipate. Let's put some of our troops that still have ammunition in a firing position. The unit that doesn't have any, book it. You're going to push up and try and threaten that infantry there. Whereas now, obviously now my um, clansmen are getting close to the line. I've, I've brought up a a decent unit of lifeguards. Yeah, just charge the Semini. They're not doing anything. My infantry are going to win against the Muslim. They're very low in number. The battle in the centre here. I mean, Semini are just a... They are a mob unit, so... Not a massive issue. There we go. Let's just bring my heavy cavalry over. Although this infantry is doing should be doing some really good damage to the Fellaine. Mounted Nizam would be good to take out, as would Delhi Horsemen. To be honest, heavy cavalry like this now are a godsend. So they're going to charge the Musketeers. You guys have managed to get the gunners to rout. You men cease fire. Let the horse guards charge in, then they'll knock out the mountain Nizam, then they'll knock out the Delhi horsemen, and then it's only the last... Oh, the doorbell's ringing, but it's not for me. They're only going to hit the last remaining units on the field. Yeah, Feline Musketeers are wavering. Come on, route. There we go, they've been routed. Kill a handful more just to make sure they don't... There we go. And go charge the mounted Nizam there. You engaging this a unit of Israeli, very nice. Okay, I might just play this on the next speed up, because to be honest, do not expect. Don't expect that much interesting stuff to happen. I mean a couple of units might attack and get rebuffed, but fundamentally my lifeguards are exactly the kind of unit I wanted. Because they'll deal with pretty much the vast majority of legacy units still on the field. Now that unit of Muslim is going to push the gate, so get you across. You men attack the Israeli, same with you guys. Lifeguards just charge the Semini. Actually, charge the Delhi Horsemen right there. They're going to go down pretty quick, because again, they are also light skirmish cavalry. They've gone through the whole cycle in one go. They're shattered, so run my life cavalry to smash into that unit of Semini and avoid the unit of Pikes. killing a whole lot of Semini very quickly. So they're pikemen. They're currently not <laughs> they're not helping out their Semini. Okay then charge them with my heavy cavalry. No, then then run away. Because they are charging us. So just run my Actually, run my clansmen up. They're running, not charging, with their pikes up. 
It's going to be costly for me to do it with my cavalry, but god damn, this was a not so great battle. God, thank god, that's the end of that. <laughs> but it very much shows why how it's so goddamn handy. We lost 6,000 men. We lost two, again, we lost loads more than I would have liked, but. Eh. That's what you gotta do. That's what you gotta do at times. You don't necessarily fight battles the way you want, you fight them the way you have to. So, early game, that is the kind of the way you have to repel or rebuff enemy attacks. And it's the only realistic way to do it. You can do it. The only realistic way to do it early game, that's fair enough, but. It does mean more, though, at the very least. When you get attacked, you do think, okay, this battle is pretty pants to fight. But nonetheless, it is critical to ensure the survival of early game campaign. Whereas late game, it's kind of like, yeah, 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 who's really that bothered? At least that's where I get <laughs> when it comes to, to late game. When I start to realize I have to fight battles early game, like say, say like fighting the native factions. So Vienna got sieged by this force, but again, we are the British Empire. What do we have? Buckets of troops. So you can probably auto-resolve the unit in the mines now. We are triumphant. Yeah, they've pulled back, but that's okay. So you men... Jude replenished, because he wasn't fully replenished anyway. Okay, what's going to happen is Mr. Cochrane is going to continue the siege of Breslau. Well, nearly. He's close. This army is going to march over towards the city. I mean, I doubt they'll actually try and attack us this turn. We've only got to survive one turn. At least with Mr. Cochrane, we've got grenadiers and mostly line infantry, so then we can just take the, take Breslau. We're using a battlefield army for the way it was intended. I might send these chaps here who are garrisoning Bavaria to just go and kill this unit before they run around and do any more trouble. By the left, march. So, what have we got? Obviously we've got a commanding... Well, this last time we cleaned out the Ottomans in Italy. Let's do a bunch of investing here. Recruit a... it's not a brig. Sloop. So if we fight here, we're going to fight quite a large amount of troops, but that's okay. Let's take our depleted army under Flynn Gardner. He can march to the north. You guys, under Andrew Hardy, push up to just within range. Let's upgrade this to a church school. Let's get rid it's, uh, Rome starting to be converted over to... Protestantism. Actually, quickly, what I might do is just check my check my building browsers. There we go. Good stuff. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. Weaver's cottage. Yes. Oh my, lots of. Lots of upgrades here in the Americas. That's pretty nice. So we've Cottage of Virginia, which we've just done. Engineer School in St. Petersburg, yes. Iron Masters works in Hanover. Great estate. We've also a Weaver's Cottage here in Gdansk. Yeah, we've just done that. Slowly starting to, to turn the majority of the population inside in Central Europe, or well, Western Europe, I suppose. Um, Protestant rather than Catholic, which is lovely. Some more good upgrades. Then Rome. Get metal roads, but let's take Hamish Boyle and attack Venice. And this will be quite a large battle, because obviously we're fighting the garrison, plus the reinforcements, plus another army of reinforcements. So when we see Riskers of Souls, well, then again, they do kind of bring them in at the same time, so that's no guarantee in of itself. But yes, let's take the city of Venice and push the Ottomans back east. Let's take this critical juncture heading east into the into the Balkans and bring it into our sphere of influence. It would be a massive loss for their empire, but a great victory for ours. And then... Well, we'll have to see... We'll have to see how things go.
check our status in a few areas. Absolutely miserable outside. But that's not where I am. Haha! <laughs> so. Deploy in a defensive manner so we can establish where the enemy reinforcements are going to come in from. They should all come from uh, a, a predictable direction, but we all know how that is. I might put my rangers up here. Because then they could fairly safely fire over my line there. That's pretty neat. Combine a bunch of grenadiers and other infantry on the left. Then my howitzers. Just deploy up. General in the centre. Not very much cavalry, but that's okay. I mean, all my howitzers are within quick climb range of that unit of guns. Good, they are going to come at us. My field artillery doesn't have that good of a shot, at least until this house is knocked down. But here comes the quick climb. And again, against fixed artillery positions, it's not super useful. Pikeman, Muslim, Janusry Grenadiers, Nizam, Muslim, Semini, and a healthy contingent of cavalry. Not bad. Not bad at all. Who are they hitting? 17th Regiment of Foot, Scottish Line. Not the 78th, and not the 74th, because they're both hidden. Haha. <laughs> Is that something they've got, or have they learnt that? Okay, Hide and Light Scrub is still... Okay, it's just luck. I was just wondering, because it's the only two units I actually named myself. Good, our other unit of howitzers is opening up. Their quick climb fire onto this cavalry. It's moving around the flank, which is quite nice. I just want to see where the reinforcements are coming in from, because you can really get screwed over and they come in from directly behind you, which is super lame. Yeah, you're okay, even though you're not fully deployed out. This flank, though, does need to be stretched a bit. Get a few more muskets out, especially because there's a Delhi Horseman unit going straight for my cav straight for my um, guns. Boom. Blasted away a load of Delhi Horseman there and killed a couple to the rear. Pour fire into their Delhi Horsemen, but let's drop it into square. Our uh, Rogers Rangers should start to engage at this point. Yeah, that's two routed units of cavalry. So Pahi are going to be a bit more troublesome. Because they are armoured. But then again, we've got some good... We've got some good... Uh, good artillery here. Okay, let's start to pick some new targets. to shot the Sipahi. They've located, re repointed their guns and they're going to fire their broadsides off now. Oh! Killed a real... Oh! Managed to get them just as they pivoted away. Switch to shrapnel shot. Focus on the Zimandari right to their front. You guys focus on that unit of Delhi Horsemen coming in. I mean, I think they kind of observed that to the uh, the defensive side is not really going to work for them. They're super here routed, which is good news. Okay, let's take our right flank and move it up. Get my ranges into those ruins on the right flank. Because we do really kind of want to shatter their early elements. We can advance up the hill and take them out. They've lost a few units because of actions like like that. It's a unit of Delhi Horsemen. Yeah. They're doing some drive-bys against our line.
Okay, canister shot. That unit of horsemen, because they're the stronger. Okay, so where are they? Okay, so where are their reinforcements coming in? Is that you guys? Okay, right, one's coming in from directly behind them. Good, okay. So. Begin the maneuvers. So you men engage the horsemen with canister shot. Did charge our line, but meh. Nah, didn't do much good. And that unit is shattered, which is nice, because it means obviously they won't ever come back. So let's take the this front and advance them up. Oh, can my rangers... Oh, are they stuck? No, I don't think so. Switch to round shot. get the howitzers to start to focus on the blocks of infantry to the rear. As damaging as cavalry can be, um, once you've broken it, that's usually it. Yeah, that's shattered as well. So I do want to push up the hill from this direction. There's lots of crimes out at the minute, because I can just hear all the... the um, sirens from police cars and so on. Uh, okay. I guess some quick climbers to focus on that unit of Spahi because that armoured cavalry, that armoured cavalry really sucks. Straight into the 17th again. They really don't like the 17th. Let's watch, see if the square breaks. Because it's a mounted light cavalry unit, they might not break it. General's bodyguard is going to be repelled. We've broken them in the centre. You hit them. What about my... My gunners are going to be lobbing round shot up the hill at these targets. Okay, right. Let's get my rangers into the mix. Let's push my general up as well. The armoured cavalry is coming in again. Okay, let's pick some new targets for my howitzers. Charging my grenadiers. That doesn't seem like the smartest thing to do. These are my marines and my Swiss grenadiers. Granted, that's very much the kind of heavy unit you need to take out those men. Right. We have an opportunity here to make some ground and push up the hill. So let's take it. I've not forgotten the gun. Which being a bit pragmatic. See, so yeah, my guns are going to keep blasting round shot. I can see the cavalry rushing up already to try and prevent me from making such an ambitious advance, advance as I'm trying. Pikeman, eh? Bring up the marines. Infantry 
bring up the marines to surround and destroy. Got the units of Pahi that have come back, but they're going to get demolished by musket fire. Yep, there they go. Surround and destroy the pikemen. Pikemen are very good, it's just you got to be ready. Okay, we've got another opportunity here to push up once more. How much does limber up? I mean, I may as well limber the guns up and try and put them somewhere a bit more useful. Let's try be a bit more ambitious again with the terrain we take over. Just those two units, these collective troops. You men run. Well, you men combine with this unit to form a front that looks like that. My rangers push up the right flank. All our howitzers push up a bit closer. To the front. I mean, so this unit of guns is probably. Eh, eh, to be honest, you guys probably aren't in too bad of a position, really. So they're all massing on the right flank. Not a problem, because we're swinging in with our strength on the left. So if you men push. You men can push. You men can push to pour fire into the flank of the Delhi Horsemen, because they are the gunners that are active. Can also engage said horsemen. My rangers get into a position in that house. Delhi Horsemen have fallen back again. So let's push. Keep pushing up. Hello, Sipahi. Hello, charges. You might all jump into square. Fire will off. Poor old Rogers Rangers, that's what I've got to say. So they're likely to smash a couple of our squares, but not so much to make a difference. What I want is this army, this position to be relatively strong to start to bottle up the enemy position. So you should be firing, should you not? Just keep pushing. They are shattered as well, so let's get Firewall back on. So what I want is to send, have units, a unit ready, or units ready, that can prevent any reinforcement on the left flank from being too decisive. Rogers Rangers get them further out onto the flank before they start engaging, because obviously some of these units are a bit upset at what's going on. You men and Limber, where you are. E men and limber, even with round shot, that'll be better than nothing. Some of these units haven't got much support in the way of anything. Considering what's about to start marching at them en masse, quite a significant block of enemy infantry. That's why we need units like the Rangers to keep pouring fire and to also keep bending our left flank around. 
So are you currently in range to do... Ooh, what about quick line? Yes, attack ground quick line right in front of, the, of their line. What about you guys? Same again. Attack ground quick line right in front of the line. Don't attack any one unit. Just get those shells in the air. Boom. So we're not hitting any units in combat. We're just dropping them in an area where they should not theoretically do too much damage because they won't actually be attacking units in combat. Although I do see a cavalry... Yes, the unit of Zimandari Horsemen. Most, some of the most frustrating units in the game, Zimandari Horsemen, in my opinion, because they just... They never really do anything. They just wander around. So you men pour fire into that unit. They're broken. They're going to get hit by squares. You men advance up the flank, cause a few more men of theirs to retreat. These marines need to charge into the flank of the Janissaries here. The Scottish line are just holding their ground against the Third Order. So these units that are now firing switch to round shot and start to actually attack units doing good work. The objective of these units is to start to cut off their reinforcements. It's an organ gun going off. The Scottish line hits the Muslim. It would be un very understandable. Uh, it'd be very understandable after a certain point if they do. If lots of sections of my line do start to rout. Especially this unit of Hessian lines. They're engaging a Nizam unit, a Muslim unit, and Riskers of Souls, which we, we know how they can be. But I'm hoping. With consistent artillery fire, we can knock out the right flank. You men charge the Riskers of Souls in the rear because we know they have. They are soft, so a bayonet charge could actually do some reasonable damage. Get these men back into the line. Hopefully, both of you chaps can knock out that Janissary unit and get back to the line quick, as quickly as possible and knock out the seventh. You guys need to charge the rear of this unit, pretty Ricky Tick. Our left flank can advance. The so U-men halt and reload. Excellent. The right flank has given way. I don't know how they're gonna what's gonna happen from a reinforcement perspective. Get these two units over here to fight in the combat. Because they are marines. The risks of souls have routed. That's a good start. Understandably, my Hessian line regiment is routing as well. You can engage that unit of Janissaries there. To be honest, I think they're done for. Push you guys up here. Pouring far into that unit of Nizam. You men charge Janissaries in the rear as well. Mighty pivotal action right here. Something that is worth doing, and I can I can feel I've got my foot tangled up in my microphone cable under my desk, so I'm gonna have to be very, very careful how I uh, nudge my feet around. He men pivot, because the seventh are starting to regroup. Get my general's bodyguard over here as well. The Muslim is shattered. The Israeli are on the verge, as are the Janissary Musketeers. It's only that unit of Nizam infantry that's sticking around. There we go. I think I've I think I've untangled my foot. Yeah, you men engage. This unit of Orta that's coming back. 
So you men push up to help that fight. You men surround the 22nd. Those units are broken. Charge and hit the 21st. We've got them surrounded. They're fighting against my brave Highlanders and who's got a better hat competition? <laughs> and, <laughs> and the Marines and their pork pie hats are in there as well. I mean, it says they're confident, but... My general is here to bear witness. <laughs> You're just going to sit here and stand here and watch. As they get... As they rout... There, there they go. Hurrah! So after a mighty, mighty battle, which has taken many, many British lives, we have pushed the Ottomans out of Venice. Don't retreat in an annoying direction. Oh, they didn't retreat at all, actually. So you men repair your buildings. Hamish, re replenish your troops. And then Andrew Hardy. Can you not... If I hit that guy then, well, that's going to be an auto-resolve for darn sure. So Hamish, your army goes through another round of replenishment. Andrew, your army that's been slightly damaged can now drive east, as can Flynn Gardner's force here. Let's get our buildings repaired and upgraded. Okay, recruit two sloops. Actually, no, two... No, only need to recruit one in each because they're both capable of recruiting. Good, so you're in good condition to drive east. Like I said, Jude could re could. Well, to be honest, I could probably do with relieving the siege because I've got a couple of units here that I that died because of my own re over my overzealous quick climbing. So Curtis, um, yeah, let's take Jude because Jude's army is one. Well, it's not in top condition; it's in fairly good condition. No, ah. So I went to attack him, and it did that. So Jude is out of range. At least George Wade is... Get rid of that gentleman. At least George Wade is within range. So some of these units we can deploy outside of the walls and set to immediately retreat. They might actually try it, but I don't know how depleted they are. That's the question. And not that it really makes a huge amount of difference although I could take this agent nah you won't make it there in time may as well have a look though there's a chance it could happen next time uh, you require a unit of infantry to swell your ranks or is it cavalry cavalry by the looks of it well cavalry would be better upgrade some buildings here upgrade the roads so Curtis, you you guys might run down to the centre of Poland here. Hadwin Charlton is going to hit Laval. Harold Williams, your army cannot hit Conrad Sachs, but the garrison here can if I march them around and attack, which is probably what I will do. So let's make Hadwin Charlton put Laval under siege. Take the garrison here of Vilnius. March him this side of the Polish, the Prussian army, then attack. Although, to be honest, most of their armies are completely knackered. So, yeah, let's just do that. <laughs> you men replenish, get back to Vilnius. Although, you guys... You guys are running to join that force there. Okay, you guys just advance near the city. Um, in which case then, where I'm probably going to leave it, is I'm going to take Hadwin and attack Laval. But looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. So, thanks for watching guys, hope you've enjoyed. I'll see you next time for the assault of this Prussian city. Cheers everyone.